guys, it's Kate. Welcome to Girl Brands Analysis 101. Thank you for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, please do don't forget to like and share. Guys, uh, today's topic is the covert narcissist the uh, random visits. The covert narcissist random visits. Now, guys, you know, these people, first, they don't care. <laughs> We've already established that. So they, if they choose to be around or they are forced to be around somehow, they would try to do things when it's convenient for them. Um, fortunately, not all of us have that luxury of deciding when we're going to parent and when we're not going to parent and we're ready for it. But the covert narcissist believes, of course, they have separate rules for themselves. So they will parent, in quote, or try to work with you or try to see their kids if it's convenient for them. You know, so which means they're going to whatever they order, they might have an order, uh, order from court. And they will try to, of course, rearrange this. And of course, it's even worse if there's nothing written down anywhere that this is when they're supposed to visit or not. So, of course, they do whatever the hell they want. So, they will show up randomly because they, 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 they don't want to stick to any kind of schedule. Like I said, they believe the rules are for you and whoever else, else this is not for them. So, them showing up randomly to visit when it's convenient is obviously trying to we write the whatever that is written down and of course to cross your boundaries i know some some people would be like well you know they you know they rarely visit or or whatever so you allow that to happen so whenever it is they show up they can you know come visit the the, the children without any announcement without any hey um i'm going to stop over next week or whatever it is you know or oh, matter of fact, I'm gonna to stick to the schedule. Or okay, I'm, I I I can't make the you know the scheduled visit I was supposed to have next week. I will do it the other week or whatever. If they're showing up like that, they're definitely obviously trying to cross your boundaries. And if we, like I said, if we're saying okay, they, they don't really show up that much. Let's you know let them let, let's let them have it. You know they come they can come visit whenever you know whenever they want. This does not help anybody in any um. Or not help you because this is this is definitely your boundary that's being crossed, and the narcissist obviously is not going to stop at just uh, doing this one time, two times. No, the the more that you allow this, the more it happens. You know, so the fact that they can't even call to say, "Are you guys home?" or "Where are the kids?" or it tells you like, "Are they really trying to?" Make sure the kids are there before they show up or they just randomly show up. And because they know when they randomly show up, the door will be open. They're going to open the door for them to see the kids because you're like, oh, they haven't been seeing the kids. You know, and this is respective of the fact that whether they are, you know, paying child support or they are the ones that, are, you know, ha have custody of the kids. Because this still happens when they would dump the kids off at, at the grandma's house or somebody else's house and then show up randomly, you know. Meanwhile, they might at the same time trying to prevent the other parent from actually, you know, seeing these kids, but they themselves don't have it. So this actually happens. So it's not about people that just have visitation rights with the kids. No, it's people, some people that have sole custody of the kids, you know, the primary custody of the kids will still dump them over at, at the relative's house and, and be visiting. Like they, they themselves have visitation, you know, times as well. Why denying the other parents the time since they are not available, you know, to come visit the, the kids? So they choose to visit when they random visit, choose to show up when they want to show up. This is something that you have to put a stop to. There's got to be some kind of written um, uh, agreement or something. Because if you do not do this, the narcissist does not know to say, oh, yeah, I probably should have, you know, let them know that I'm coming on Thursday. You know, let me do. No, this, what will happen is they randomly show up at the house, which is, you know, they knock on the door, they're expecting you to, open the door and if you do not entertain them you know that's what when you start doing this and, and the time you do not do it this will be that time that they will use to either disappear for a while and then it will be the story will be that you're not allowing them to see the kids or you're not you know if, and you don't present the kids for them to uh to come visit them this is the story that will be going on because but they fail to mention the fact that they do not announce themselves that they're coming they do not tell you that you're coming they do not have a consistent time that they come to visit they just randomly show up and they're expecting you and the children to accommodate them 
you know so this is something you have to put an a stop to just before it gets crazy because it will they will you know you give them an inch they're taking them out that there's no reason in it like okay maybe i should you know be considerate about this no either you stop have an established agreement of this is the day you you visit and if you visit outside of those dates uh, then we're not going to be available for that but if you if you start entertaining the you have a revolving door of, oh okay they really visit so whenever they visit you uh accommodate them for for no reason at all it's not like they're it's different if they have a job that takes them out you know out all the time so that's a whole different thing but if this is somebody that chooses every day you know to every month every week to pick and choose when they want a parent then there's no reason for you to indulge that because it only gets worse from there and anytime you say hey in the middle of that and say hey no 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 we're not doing that this week you automatically becomes you are keeping the children away from them you don't want them to see the children you don't want the children to visit that's exactly the story you're gonna hear so might as well not start it you know have some established established uh rule of them visiting or possess some time for anybody either, either one all right guys get a hold of your mind and everything's to fall into place please like and share take care